Uh, that's mainly on West. I'm pointing the finger at. All I have to say, I've been a big proponent uh, since I've been a Wizards, like, uh, you know, content creator and stuff. You have to get players that are already defined and good at certain things into this organization if you really want to create a culture of change that could come through the draft, that could come through trade, or whatever. Example, though, Eugene Amarui, when he went out there, that was a pit bull. He was pushing, bullying, 6'4", dude, doing P.J. Tucker shit. He needs more minutes. I thought he should have got more minutes, honestly, and was going to get more minutes. I think not having Gaff in there definitely opened the door for him being like a 10th man against some of the starters, if not some of the starters. I mean, uh, all the starters against Boston. Um, different level of edge and toughness. Like, I don't know why it didn't work out in Detroit, but whatever sense of Detroit and whatever back pass history that he has, he brought here. We're just going to use a hell of a lot of more of that uh, just in, in general. He does not get pushed over easily. He is ripping. He ripped a rebound from a teammate. That's how intensely this dude plays. And I think this team lacks intensity and lacked. They should, they, look, by the time uh, Boston went up 20, should have been some hard fouls. People should have been filling screens. Even if it got called for an offensive foul. You should have been knocked down, face into the ground if you ever attempted a layup on me. And look, understand Tommy and Ted, one of the nice group of guys that you can always root for, never get in trouble. Those guys don't always have problems. Sometimes they just play hard. Eugene Amarui. Again, I don't know his backstory. I haven't heard about legal issues. Dude just might play hard. And if other guys can do it at the end of the bench and your frontline guys can't do it, the top of the rotation, then you got to find a way to, to move them in there, I think. I think Eugene Amarui has shown every time he stepped on the floor, hey, I deserve more of an opportunity here. Because even if I'm just a ball of energy, I'm a noticeable one. People are going to feel me. He's like, uh, I don't I don't know the direct equivalent, but let's say you take a little bit of, like, it, it really is like a, a, a quiet Draymond. Or like a, a Jason Maxiel. I, I, I tweeted about this. This this kind of game just reminds you, like, there's a place for enforcers in this league. And the thing I like about Eugene Armarui, he's not just that. Hit a couple threes. He's hit. He scored double-digit points most of the games I've seen him play as a wizard. He's made some nice passes. He's directing guys on the court where to go and stuff. This dude knows what he's doing. I'm not sure if it's great instincts, experience, or what. Again, I don't know a lot about him. All I know is when I see him, I love what he does on the court. Give this man some, he needs to be in the top seven, top eight rotation. And when you play in a team like that, you play with a team like Milwaukee with Giannis, higher up. So he needs to, I'm not sure if he needs to get starting minutes, but <coughs> I need to see more of him. Only a few guys played last night with any sort of edge. I'm a Rui, Bilal Koulibaly, Ryan Rollins. Now, I'm not sure that means you could just plug Ryan Rollins in, especially when all your other guards seem to be healthy and Johnny just came back. So he has a little bit of toughness to him, too. But, I mean, he was going to lit up yesterday as well. Ryan Rollins went against, like, the end of the bench guy. So, I mean, whatever. The thing I'll say is that those three guys have always shown me something when they got on the court. And there's, there's no reason not to incorporate. At least notice it now because... 20 games down the line, 40 games down the line, depending on what this record is, and it's not going to be good. Those are guys I should start seeing more, get active, if they haven't been already, with more minutes, more opportunity, and see what kind of identity they can help shape the rest of the season.